today I'm going to be giving you an in-depth tutorial of how to play Gorilla Tag. And if you're watching this, you're either a new monkey and you want to know how to play the game, or you're a monkey who's been playing for a little while and you suck. And in today's video, we're going to be going over walls, branches, ground, bubble walls, everything you need to know to be pro at the game. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, so the first thing we're going to be going over is ground. And I see a lot of you new players, you just bounce like that. And you don't want to do that, because that's going to give you a lot of air time. And it's going to be easier for lava monkeys to tag you. So, yeah. Instead of moving like that, you want to move parallel to the ground. One arm at a time like that. A more advanced way to do that is to make really big circles with your left arm. And then your right arm's just flicking. And you go like this basically like running running but it's like way faster just a disclaimer uh everything you learn in this video is going to take time to learn just by watching this video you're not going to learn it like immediately so just keep that in mind okay so the next thing we're going to be going over is the walls and there are three main things you can do uh at the walls so to learn wall bouncing you're going to want to hit the walls like this so each time you hit the wall you hit off of it and then you hit off hit off so so on and so forth all right so pen slime you hug this and then you launch up like this and then you grab it again you just launch up and then eventually you'll get good at it and you'll be up here um before we get into elevatoring i just want to say that your hitboxes are your hands and your face so you can basically phase your hand through things like this see it's like my hand is right like my part of my arms right here but the other parts over there so you can phase your arm through stuff to elevator you're just going to want to phase your hand through the wall and make these t really tiny circle movements and get gradually faster and once you get good at it it'll look like this like that Alright, so next we're going to move on to walls. Walls is probably the hardest thing in Gorilla Tag. There's four main things you can do on it. That is wall climbing, wall running, Lucio running, inverting. Uh, to learn these, you're going to want to be on 60 hertz. It's just way easier. And you can stick to the wall more. And yeah. All right, so wall climbing, you're gonna wanna find a crease in the wall like that. Put your hands like this diagonally, and then it's like wall bouncing, but it's not wall bouncing. All right, so wall climbing, um, you're gonna wanna find a crease in the wall like that, and have your hands facing like this. It's basically like wall bouncing, but it's not really wall bouncing. It's like that. So you're going up the wall, not like bouncing up and down, basically. So when you're wall climbing and you're about to hit off the wall to go to the next wall, you're gonna wanna look where you're about to hit off, like this. See how I'm looking where I'm about to hit off? And another tip for wall climbing is to not go too far out because then you're gonna go down the wall. See how I'm going down? But if you go in more, you're gonna go up the wall. And once you learn wall climbing, you can start to wall run. That's when you just run across the wall like that. And you're basically just gonna wanna go up and down like this, but forward at the same time, like this. And uh, once you practice that a lot, it should look like this. Like that. So, loose yelling is probably like the most hardest skill to learn in Gorilla Tag. So, to Lucio run, you're gonna wanna have your left hand facing in the wall, and it's gonna make up and down movements like that. And your right arm is gonna be face flat on the wall, making diagonal movements. And once you practice that, lot and you combine those together it should look like this like 
All right, so now we're gonna get into verting, and I haven't even mastered this yet, so it's gonna be pretty hard for me to explain. But basically, a vert is when you go vertical up the wall, and you make circle movements, basically like elevatoring, but it's just on the wall. So if you come over here to get you can practice these circle movements on the bench, like this. And people say you have to make really big circles. No, it, you're basically making like really small ovals like that. Um, once you practice that a lot, you should be able to vert. Um, and it kind of looks like that. So the motion is like you're making really fast circles on the wall like that. Uh, you should probably start out slow just so you can learn the circle movements. But once you get a hang of it, it should be really easy. Right, so, oh, uh, you're gonna learn how to branch. Branching is when you just move like this. Um, you're also gonna want to learn some basic routes. So once you get good at just going from branch to branch really fast, you can learn how to underbranch. Underbranching is when you hit off the base of the tree, then hit off the base of the branch and go in a different direction. You can even go in a different branch. So your first step will look like this. Then your second step is to hit off the branch and then go to a different branch. This helped me a lot. Every branch has this like side part to it and you wanna hit this side part. So that really helped me a lot and yeah. Another tip for branching is to not stay as high. Like, don't camp high ground on branches. It's also good for you to just, like, go down more. You could go high like this, do a little bit of scaling. But it's also good for you to just go down more. Because then you're going to be going in, like, different directions all the time. Like, up and down, up and down. And it's going to confuse the lava monkeys, so, yeah. Another important part of branches is to learn how to scale. Scaling is when you go up a tree like this. <laughs> like I just scaled stump. A good tree to learn how to scale on is this one right here. Right next to stump has really easy branches to scale on. And to scale, you hit off the tree, then grab the branch. Just keep doing that. And once you're at this part where there's like no branches, you can just pinch climb up. And then there's this little part that you can just stand on. Now we're gonna get into some jukes. Um, those include the pull spin, like that. I'm not really too good at it, but it's when you grab the pull and you spin IRL like this. And you go in the opposite direction, like that. Another one is the slide juke. It's when you phase your hand through the slide, go to the end, and then swing around. So it should look like this. Another juke is when you hit off the leaderboard like that, and then like you spin your hand around like the gazebo roof, and then you just run across whatever you wanna do. So our last juke is the hospital flip is when you grab the branch, you pull under it, and then you swing in the opposite direction. And for our last thing, you would want to learn, um, it's kind of hard, uh, I can't even really do it, it's called long jumps. It's when you jump from like a branch to another uh, branch and you do like a long jump. It should look like that, but like you have to land on the branch and I didn't obviously do that. One more thing, if you want to learn how to easily get up stump if you're new and you can't really scale, just wall bounce up stump like this. Like hit off stump, then hit off the wall like this. And then you're up. Anyways, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. Uh, if this did help you, please make sure to like and subscribe. Um, this took me a while to make. Um, and yeah, peace.